Dewan Smoot is back in Jacksonville. Jaguars have re-signed veteran defensive end Dewan Smoot. They originally drafted Smoot back in 2017. He has been with the team ever since then. This is now his third contract with the Jaguars. It's going to be one year, $6.25 million. According to Ian Rappaport, Dewan Smoot was scheduled to visit with the Ravens next week. The Jaguars, late in the week on Friday, they decided to pull the trigger, bring Dewan Smoot back into the fold in Jacksonville. He's going to be a designated pass rusher for them. Obviously, they have Josh Allen and Trayvon Walker entrenched in the starting lineup, but bringing in a veteran edge who can get after the passer a little bit was critical for the Jaguars heading into the 2023 season a season in which they expect to do even more than they did in 2022. And in 2022, they won their division and made it all the way to the divisional round of the playoffs, barely losing to the Chiefs in Kansas City by seven points. So, Dewan Smoot back in Jacksonville. This is huge news for the Jaguars. Jags fans have been clamoring for the team to bring in a veteran edge presence. That's exactly what they've done with Smoot here, again, who has been with the Jaguars since 2017. And over the last four seasons... 2019, 2020, 21, and 2022, he's recorded at least five sacks in each season, and most of those years he hasn't been a full-time starter. He's been more of that designated pass rusher, rotational edge type player. He's a guy that can give you reps on the interior and pass rush situations and as a true edge player as well. So a lot of versatility that he brings to the table, definitely pass rush prowess that he brings to the table, was leading the Jaguars in sacks prior to his injury in December that forced him to miss the final three games of the regular season and the playoffs. He he suffered a torn Achilles tendon, which is obviously a very big injury. We've seen in the past recent years, um, these injuries, players are able to come back from them a little bit quicker than they used to. Used to be kind of a death knell for careers, the Achilles did. But uh, with modern medicine, advanced technology, players are able to come back and come back faster than ever. You saw James Robinson was able to come back last year from a December foot injury, Achilles injury, um, and he was ready for the start of the regular season. Not sure how effective or how quickly Smoot will be able to reintegrate into the lineup, like if he'll be ready at some point in training camp. We have seen workout videos from Dewan Smoot's trainer uh, where he looks like he's doing well. But of course, working out is not the same as playing football at a high level in the NFL. So uh, yet to be determined when exactly Dewan Smoot will be at his peak again in 2023. But really, when you're looking at the Jaguars in 2023, the key is having him geared up for the late season run, for the playoffs. Uh, that's when you want to be at your very best if you're the Jacksonville Jaguars. And so I wouldn't rush to want Smoot back if he's not ready. And again, we don't know exactly the timeline, whether he will be ready for the start of the regular season or not. But you want him ready, again, for December, January, maybe February, if you're able to get get hot and, and play your best football at the right time. We'll see how it all plays out. But Dewan Smoot is back to be a rotational edge for the Jaguars. It's going to give you inside reps, going to give you outside reps, going to give you meaningful pass rush reps. Um, a, a guy that kind of has really grown throughout his career in Jacksonville. You love his story as a former third round pick. Didn't really do a whole lot the first couple years of his career, but you saw him stay steady. You saw him keep working. The Jaguars, they kind of tried to put weight on him and then take weight off of him over the first couple years of his career. He's really found his niche though in Jacksonville from 2019 on. Again, a guy that's been able to get a lot of pressures, a guy that's been able to rack up the sacks as well, make a lot of big plays for the Jaguars defense when they need them. So having him to be able to complement Josh Allen and Trayvon Walker, to be able to get all three of those guys on the field at the same time, maybe with a Roy Robertson Harris as well in these clear pass rushing situations where you're just trying to uh, get after the quarterback. There's a lot of different things you can do here now. Um, I do think you like now some of the depth even more, right? Because Caleb on chase on now he's not your edge three. He's your edge four. You see Abdullah, who's a rookie that has a lot of talent, a lot of speed off the edge. He's no longer looked at as a guy that might have to be a pressure producer, a sack producer in a big way. He can kind of just, um, you know, assimilate as a rookie, as a rookie should be able to, uh, a guy that can just kind of find his way and not be pressured to put pressure on the quarterback from the jump, right? Uh, I think this is huge for the Jaguars. Again, we don't know exactly the timeline for his recovery, but according to his his trainer, he's ahead of schedule. 
The, the workout videos look really good. The Jaguars obviously are confident that he's going to be back at some point in the 2023 season. Otherwise, they would not be signing him to a one-year $6.25 million deal and, and getting in ahead of the Baltimore Ravens, who were going to host him for a visit early next week. I think this is a huge development for the Jaguars. They've also been reported to have interest in free agent quarterback, cornerback, I should say, Arthur Mallett. Uh, from Pittsburgh, a guy who started a lot of, of games in the nickel for the Pittsburgh Steelers, maybe a guy that can push Trey Herndon at the nickel spot, maybe a guy who can come in and, and clear rushing situations, come in and be a, a tone setter against the run. I think he was able to do that a lot in Pittsburgh, maybe be able to bring that to Jacksonville if the Jaguars do bring him in. But as of now, we do know Dewan Smoot back in Jacksonville. Huge move for the Jaguars. Awesome for Dewan Smoot, who obviously when you suffer that Achilles tear late in the season, you're pretty nervous about your future. He's been able to get back in enough good enough shape to where the Jaguars feel confident inking him to another one-year deal. I'm fired up about it. I know Jags fans should be fired up about it as well. This is one step that the Jaguars, in my opinion, really needed to take, bringing in a veteran edge rusher. They're able to keep their own guy, a guy that has familiarity in this system, who has versatility to rush the passer from the interior and from the edge. So I'm fired up about it, as I've mentioned. Really appreciate y'all tuning in. You can hit me up on Twitter, at Jordan DeLugo. Let me know what you think. If you enjoy the content here at Gen Jag Duval Daily, you can like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, drop a comment in the comment section below. And if you want to support the channel further, check out genjag.com shop. Pick up some new Duval gear. Thanks for tuning in.